Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh and have a very good day. Today, I'm going to share a demonstration on Structural Engineering Laboratory CES 511 on indeterminate frame level 1. As an introduction, in static, a structure is statically indeterminate when the static equilibrium equation are insufficient for determining the internal forces and reaction on the structure. In order to analyze the indeterminate structure, consideration in the material properties and compatibility in deformation are taken to solve statically indeterminate. A statically indeterminate frame can be determined by using the following formula. DOI is equal to 3M plus R minus 3J plus C, where M is member, R is a reaction, J is joint, C is internal hinge. The figure shows the experimental as apparatus for indeterminate frame, which is consists of the column, beam, and hover hanging beam. The objective of this experimental work is to validate the reaction of indeterminate frame determined in theoretical structural analysis with respect to experimental result. As the learning outcome, at the end of this experimental work, students should be able to find the reaction of indeterminate frame by using the superposition method and describe the principle of superposition approach. Problem statement. A portal frame is statically determinate if there are only three external reaction. If a portal frame has more than three reaction, it is classified as statically indeterminate. The degree of indeterminacy or redundancy being equal to the numbers of redundant or extra reaction to be determined. Today, we are going to demonstrate indeterminate portal frame experimental work. This is the portal frame apparatus. Before we start the demonstration, I would like to introduce the portal frame apparatus. Here are the portal frame apparatus, and then here are the frame okay, that we have, which is consists of three main element. Here is the collar, here is the beam, and here is the overhanging beam. This portal frame is supported by two support at each side using a pin support. That's why this portal frame considered as indeterminate structure. Next, we have to measure all the elements or the portal frame specification, which is the height and also the span of the portal frame. For the hanging beam, we have to measure the height from the support to this point and then the length of this overhanging beam. Please make sure you measure all the elements in order to determine the reaction of the frame. Next, we have three types of loading that we're going to apply to this structure or to this portal frame. Here is the point load at the beam. Here is the point load at the hanging, overhanging beam. And here is the point load for the Column. So, before we start applying the load, we have to make sure that 
The digital indicator is switch on and set to zero. In order to start the measurement of the reaction, so we have to start or we have to do and complete the experimental work one by one from the beam, overhanging beam, and the last one for the column. So we can apply for the first one, 5 Newton load to the beam. And then we take the measurement here, 0 0.6 Newton, as shown in the digital indicator, and add additional load for at least five times for the same beam. After you complete the measurement of the reaction or the forces for the, for the beam, you have to do for the hanging beam or overhanging beam, apply the first five Newton and do the same process with the reading from the digital indicator. Repeat the same process until five reading. After that, after you complete for the overhanging beam, then you continue to start with the column. You apply the load here and then you read the measurement here, the forces here, okay, from the digital indicator. You have to repeat at least five reading for the column. So you have to make sure during the experimental work, all the safety measures and all the requirement that we need to get the good result should be done properly. That's it for the portal frame experimental work. Here are the sample of the result that obtained from the experimental work for indeterminate frame. It shows the overall measurement of the frame that consists of length of the beam, height of the column, length of the hoverhanging, height of the overhanging, load distance of the column, and thickness of the frame. Here are the data that has been tabulated for all the three cases. The first one is the case for the load apply on the beam. Second one is the case for the load apply on overhanging beam. And the third one is load apply on the column. Therefore, based on the result obtained, you have to do an analysis of the result. Each group is required to prepare the experimental report based on the data given. In order to analyze, you have to interpret the data and include all the analysis and calculation of the needed answer. For the conclusion, the discussion should cover the laboratory work and must be reflecting with respect to objective of the study. Here are some of the application of the frame structure. The first one is Johor Darul Ta'zim FC Training Center where the structure is using steel framing system to support external load of the indoor football training center. The second one is Tun Raza Exchange 106 Kuala Lumpur where the tower is using reinforced concrete framing system with total height of 445 meter up to the tower crown. And last but not least is the timber structure house where the two-story house is using timber framing system as overall structural system. Thank you.